The film begins with an arriving home to find her husband Pierre hurriedly packing. He explains that his ex-wife Rebecca called about their son Theo, who was suspended from school for arguing with his math teacher. Pierre rushes to Geneva to bring Theo home to live with him. And is initially annoyed by Theo's messiness, but she notices that he gets along well with his stepsisters Angela and Serena, who give him a handmade keychain. The next day, and finds the keychain on the driveway and takes it inside. She is happy to see Theo bonding with the children but becomes puzzled when he abruptly leaves the room upon seeing her. That night, Pierre returns home from work exhausted and upset. Over dinner, he shares his work troubles with Anne, who listens attentively, and suggests they be intimate to help him feel better. In their bedroom, Pierre slowly undresses and opens up about his doubts and insecurities regarding Theo's comments about his age and parenting. Theo believes Pierre adopted Angela and Serena out of guilt and thinks Pierre is too old to be their father. After being intimate, Pierre still feels insecure about his age, but in comforts him by saying she finds older men attractive. The next day, Pierre visits Theo's room and gently asks him not to smoke indoors, to which Theo reluctantly agrees. Pierre then tries to have a serious conversation with him about reciprocating their hospitality, but Theo only half-heartedly agrees and brushes him off to focus on his phone. Shortly after his departure, Anne and her friend Mimi arrive at the house to find it in disarray, signaling a robbery. And immediately calls Pierre to inform him, and while on the phone, Theo casually approaches and inquires about the situation. And briefs him and instructs him to check his room for missing items. After Theo leaves, Mimi comments on Theo's kindness, but later, while changing, and discovers the keychain on Theo's pants, confused as she had kept it in her bag, she confronts Theo, who remains nonchalant, and presses him for an explanation about the keychain, but Theo evades, expressing his annoyance at her probing. Despite this, and persists in seeking answers from him, Theo remains stubborn and unapologetic about the burglary at their home and warns him she'll tell Pierre, but Theo brushes it off and dares her to call the police. Sensing Theo won't budge, and strikes a deal, she won't inform Pierre if Theo integrates into the family. Theo agrees, and soon after, he starts to come out of his shell. When in struggles with her daughter's swimming gear, Theo helps, earning her gratitude. He asks about the gear and joins and and the children for a swim. When invited during the outing, Theo invites and to join them in the river, but she declines, saying she's not in the mood. Theo playfully reminds her about integrating into the family, and decides to join them. The following day, Anne and Theo chat on the patio, with an asking if Theo misses Geneva. Theo admits he doesn't, sharing his dislike for the place and its people. And suggests he invite friends over, but Theo says he doesn't have any. And reveals she doesn't either, and they share a laugh. She notices Theo's forearm tattoo and asks about it. Proudly, Theo says he did it himself and offers to tattoo Anne, who declines due to fear of pain. They playfully argue, but Anne continues to resist. Theo playfully suggests tattooing near her elbows, calling it classy. After persistent offers, and finally agrees, and Theo starts tattooing. Despite the pain, and enjoys Theo's company. The next evening, Theo is watching a TV series on his phone when and visits his room he invites her to join him and she agrees as they watch tension builds and Theo kisses and leading to intimacy afterward and feels guilty and tells Theo to forget what happened and not to do it again but Theo doesn't reassure her and instead asks if she enjoyed it, and reluctantly admits she did but expresses regret Theo tries to comfort her with playful teasing but and is unamused and Theo calls her, irritating prompting her to leave. In the following days Theo spends time with his stepsisters in the backyard before approaching Anne, who's sunbathing and offers her a beer they chat and Theo starts interviewing Anne with a dictaphone, initially asking innocent questions to get to know her better but as the interview progresses Theo becomes more suggestive asking and about her first time. Uncomfortable and refuses to answer which disappoints Theo, and admits something shouldn't have happened leading Theo to believe she's referring to their intimacy. Despite Anne's denial Theo insists they're in a relationship and kisses her, and still refuses to acknowledge it so Theo kisses her as an apology. The next day and visits Sarah who has been unreachable she expresses her concern but Sarah acts differently raising Anne's suspicions when they hear Sarah's father's voice from inside and invites Sarah for a walk hoping to talk but Sarah refuses and asks her to leave. On Serena's birthday Theo helps and set up tables but becomes too touchy and reprimands him for his behavior during the party Serena asks and to fill her water gun and as in heads to the shed, Theo hugs her to despite her protests and gives in losing focus Mimi witnesses the incident but decides not to intervene disappointed and tries to stop Mimi from leaving but Mimi is determined. The next day Theo meets and in the garden, and she scolds him for his behavior at the party reminding him to keep their affair secret, Theo promises he asks if and is breaking up with him and she confirms saying their affair must end, Theo asks for a goodbye kiss and in grants it as Theo leaves he shouts at and resenting the breakup and declares he'll have other girlfriends not needing her anymore. The next morning and joins Pierre for breakfast and he tells her he's taken a week off to bond with Theo this rattles and fearing Pierre might discover their affair nevertheless, she maintains composure and agrees that repairing their relationship might be beneficial. 
Later that evening and searches Theo's space for a dictaphone hoping to erase the tape containing their affair conversation she finds it takes the tape and leaves the following day, and drops her daughters off for horseback riding and feels agitated on the drive home. Distracted while searching for her phone, she gets into a car accident. They leave the car and take a cab home, where they find Pierre's car in the driveway. The daughters tell Pierre about the accident, but he shows no concern. During dinner, and wonders about Theo's whereabouts. Pierre reveals Theo won't be joining them, implying he's with Amanda, confirming Anne's suspicion. Pierre asks why she isn't eating, and she says she's lost her appetite. That evening, Pierre confronts Anne about Theo's confession regarding their affair. Anne initially remains silent, but Pierre's persistence prompts her to try to save face. Their conversation escalates into an argument. Instead of admitting the truth, and deflects and accuses Theo of being miserable and a liar. Pierre, troubled, admits he's unsure whom to believe at first but questions why Theo would fabricate such a detailed story if it weren't true. Pierre, fearing the loss of his wife, tearfully embraces her. The next morning, Pierre calls Theo into the living room and reprimands him for accusing Anne of infidelity. Feeling betrayed, Theo hesitates, looking at Anne, who remains composed. He insists he didn't lie and urges Anne to speak up, but Pierre orders him to apologize to Anne. Confidently, Anne reassures Pierre and scolds Theo, treating him like a troubled attention seeker. This deeply hurts Theo, causing him to label them crazy. Pierre demands Theo admit to lying, unaware of Theo's pain. And approaches Theo gently, urging him to confess, portraying herself as innocent. Instead, Theo abruptly leaves. Moments later, he's packed and ready to go, but his sisters don't want him to leave. As he says goodbye, he tightly hugs them. Theo threatens to press charges against Anne. A few days later Anne attends a meeting with Theo's lawyer where the boy brings charges against her despite Anne's attempts to leverage. Her connections with the lawyer he remains steadfast forced to accept the lawyer's proposal. That evening Anne hears loud banging downstairs and investigates she finds a drunk Theo at the door insisting on seeing her despite their agreement confused and reminds him of their deal but he ignores her. Theo driven by desire kisses Anne and although she tries to resist she ultimately succumbs after their intimate moment and returns to her room where Pierre half asleep asks about the commotion and fabricates a story about Theo's drunken visit and arranging a cab for him sensing her distress Pierre comforts her and as she snuggles into him she calls out his name but Pierre hushes her urging her to go back to sleep. Thanks for watching.